We thought we discovered an abandoned neighborhood with over a hundred homes, but in fact, it turned out to be an entire abandoned city. Be careful where you go exploring. Hello everybody. Today we're exploring this huge abandoned neighborhood. It might be one of the biggest ones I've ever been to. A lot of houses here. There's entire streets here that are abandoned. It actually looks like there's a trail here, which is interesting. As if uh, lots of people or animals or something else was walking through here. Here it seems like this is a uh, in the back parking lots. Quite a large area, you'll see in a second here. You might be asking, what could cause an entire neighborhood to go abandoned, or a whole city for that matter? Well, we are currently inside a military base, mostly abandoned for that matter, mostly bought out. Much of the property is currently going to be redeveloped into a giant Netflix campus. You heard me right, the streaming giant Netflix bought an entire city to redevelop for their company. The project will take years, maybe even decades, and we're here to document it before it's gone forever. There's likely around a thousand units or more here where people lived, once families. Just left completely abandoned. Quite peaceful. They did a good job of boarding this up, but I think just the outside is, is um, more than enough. I'm almost certain there's nothing inside these homes, but I could be wrong. But just the fact that this looks post apocalyptic, it's extremely interesting to me. How do you abandon an entire neighborhood? Currently walking up to one of the play playgrounds here, and wow, look at this! It's a water thing here. Obviously no water. There it is though, there's a slide. Here's the slide. This neighborhood is so big, I, I, I believe there'll be a lot of uh, more unique stuff as we keep going. Different houses, different things, maybe, maybe even like a main center. There they go. Dang, the whole roof of that house is gone. They actually had roof hatches for this place. This has been longer abandoned than I thought. It's probably chilling. Maybe. There's somebody over there. Where'd he go? He left. That's crazy, dude. We just saw somebody here. I think he went in the window. You think he went in the window? He just threw stuff inside and went in. Oh my gosh. No, just knock on the window. Okay, we just knock on the window, see what's up. I don't know. Might scare him. Did he see us? I don't think, I don't, maybe. Probably. So, yeah, so he lives inside this building. So 
so now we know it's chill, I guess. Kind of. <laughs> he closed it? Did he close yeah. it? Yeah, he closed it. Whoa. He must have gotten scared. He's probably peeking out there somewhere. I heard him. You want to just knock on the window? I don't know. Talk to him? Knock on the window? Yeah. I don't know. We just interview him, ask some questions, see what's up. We could. I think he I think he just wants to be left alone. If he just left us. You know, and he closed the window too. So it's not gonna keep it on his corner if he keeps it open. <laughs> I, I wanna leave him alone. Oh, uh, is he going? He's really knocking on the window. No chance. From my experience, I've never met homeless people very much, but they're not a problem. But, uh, you know, this is their home, so I think it's best not to bother them, but they have other plans, I guess. But this is absolutely surreal. There's so much more as well. There's still furniture? This is better than the other one. Really? Oh, shit. Whoa. Let's be careful though, it could be squared or something. That's kind of crazy. They really left all the appliances. We're currently upstairs. A couple of random items. The birds. The view is amazing. Huh? Yeah, this is a whole different thing. Guys, look at this door we just found. Somebody blew it open with an explosive. This was definitely used for training for some of the municipalities around here. I've never seen this in person though, but that just goes to show the. Police and the military have the power to blow open your door like this, with this much force. I'm gonna guess there's nothing in there worth checking out. Sun's coming up a little bit more, you can kind of see everything without the sun glare this this is just mad <laughs> look at this it just keeps going can't wait to show you guys the other parts what did he say anything i'm not going in you go have fun dude <laughs> he said, knock your socks off. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Not gonna, oh, he's convinced now. Well, you just wanna get an interview, it's, you know, it's whatever. We saw the homeless guy go in the window. We went to go talk to him, we knocked on the window. We tried to open it, it didn't open. He didn't answer, he locked the window. Uh, we just saw it cracked, so we knew it was open. So I shot it out, hey, is anyone in there? And nobody shot it back. So I went in there and filmed it. He's got unopened alcohol bottles, blunts. He's got pee bottles outside. He's got a bed with clothing. He's got a whole setup in there. Wow. He's like the only one here too. Yeah. That we know of. There's, there might be people like True. inside the beds in some, some of the other apartments. Just yeah, chilling. this place is so big. For all we know, people could be watching us right now. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't know it yet, but we were soon to find the main center of the city, complete with everything that a city would need, including a bowling alley, gas stations, feeders, restaurants, and even a prison. Guys, this is also part of the base. It's a huge building.
how brutal this looks. It's a very busy road. Oh, doors. There's yeah. That could be a lot. Look at that. Crazy. Huh. That's crazy how the front door was just wide open. Check out this building though. It looks like it's uh looks like it's from Russia almost. Absolutely crazy. And it it's oh what the heck? Dude. Be careful before Yeah. This is really trashed. Is this scrapping or I think the government scrapped it. Holy office. Yeah, this is Kind of like the little walkway to the big building. Somebody actually scrapped this entire building. It is pretty trashed in here. As you can see, completely scrapped. Unbelievable. This is all just from scrap metal thieves. I'm shocked how open it is. I can't believe that. Guys, I'm just shocked how scrappers scrapped this entire building and it's just all open. It's like maybe nobody cares too much and they're not gonna use this again. I have no idea, but look at this. All these buildings, there's so much more up ahead. This is an entire abandoned city, basically. All the houses and all these apartments or colleges or something. It's crazy to me. There's even a theater down over there. I'll show you guys in a little bit. Whoa, this is like an office. Check out this meeting room. That's crazy. People drew stuff. Wow. You can see the buildings out there. These are all keys. Really? The keys, I wonder what they're for. Look how far that goes. This was Linwood Hall, one of the offices used by the military. An abandoned theater. This was the Army Command Headquarters, next to a power plant. I wanted to take a moment to uh, pay some respects all along here. Our um, remembrance stones, each tree was a soldier who passed away, fighting for the U.S. military. All down here. It's, it's amazing they planted some of this. A couple flags fell. A couple are torn, actually. We put the flags back that fell. Guys, this goes back an insane amount. And right there, Army Command Headquarters. That's actually insane. Very cool. So everybody, I just realized, we were looking on maps, this place is so massive that it would take probably an entire week to film everything. So we're just gonna do some quick walk arounds of this whole area. I mean, it, it's huge, it's huge, huge, huge. Check this out. So there's more houses here. I mean, this is just entirely abandoned. It's crazy. There's a giant abandoned sportsplex here. Everything's abandoned. This is abandoned, that's abandoned. I cannot believe this. Just a absolutely unreal. This really is the equivalent equivalent of an abandoned city. You may notice those, those red X's right there. That means that uh, the building is abandoned, condemned, as you could say. These were recently abandoned right here. 
as well. So it just keeps on going. This is uh, this road's called Radio Avenue, and um, let's see, there's some kind of facility here. There's a truck here, probably just parked. But this is um, probably some maybe event center here. Kind of cool. Get some shots of that. Check it out. Over here, there's um, looks like a gas station or an auto shop. There were actually a lot of people walking around the facility, and I interviewed somebody who was walking around who knew more than me. Uh, well, the base was decommissioned, and so most of the people that lived here were transferred to Maryland to a, an army base there. Any years when a lot of this closed? I mean, it was sort of a soft close because uh, it's a it's like communications base. So they moved a lot of like, I guess, soldiers that were being trained or whatever out, but they kept communications people here. From what I heard, there's still prisoners here too. Like, wow. There's a prison somewhere around here. Um, yeah, I, I moved away from here in like 2000 and it was, it was sort of on its way out then. And I think by, by 05, it was pretty much done. Unfortunately, that was all I could hear from the interview. I forgot what he said since it's been so long since I filmed this. Oh, it's actually blocked off here. More buildings though. Crazy. Even more housing here, you guys. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I don't know if the wind picked uh, if you were he able to hear that guy, but uh, he said a lot of this clothes around the, the 2000s, I believe. Look at that. From this point on, it became a race against time to film what we could before we had to leave to our other filming locations. This truly was an accidental find for us, and we just stumbled upon the base. Here's a little look at these buildings. This was, uh, I believe, more housing. Could be wrong. A lot of houses here. A lot. I just can't believe the amount of buildings here. I've never seen something like this in my entire life. I think I've said enough about that anyways. Let's keep going. This is wild. This is the prison and it actually looks abandoned too. It is. Crazy. This is like a newer building too. And there's um, the College. university. That's active though, isn't it? I don't it know. Looks it looks active. Oh, it's possible. No they mowed the grass here. They probably want to keep it kind of nice. I don't know, the guy said there might be prisoners still here, but... It doesn't look like it. Yeah, it looked cracked in the back, the, 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 the sidewalk. I think the gate was open. Let's drive back there. Sure. Yeah. There's no know. signs. We'll check it out. So yeah, we might be able to just drive up here. Although I do see a restricted area sign. Maybe we could just film from the outside. That sign's definitely old too. Yeah, like there's, that, there's somebody out yeah. in that garage. Yeah, we'll probably just go in. Yeah, we could. Wanna ask we him? We could talk to him, yeah. Right here's like one of the courtyards for, for the prison, I believe. Looks pretty cool. Again, we don't have time to check all this out, but it's crazy. There's even more up here. You can see. Crazy, dude. And all this is getting torn down as well. Let's see if we can take a look. That's fine. Would there be a power plant here? Power plant? Yeah, it's probably self yeah I've already seen it. Oh but we didn't go nowhere near it. That's the area I've been trying to go. This is huge. It's a gas station. Yeah. No way. Yeah, it's still got a this pump. This is crazy. Yeah. 
Another gas station. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's so cool. Public yeah, this works. The, this the public works department probably because they had the, the sand domes to keep the sand in the clouds. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Dude, battle. I'm surprised more people don't know about this. Why'd you turn and damn it? Oh. I'm just trying to film that. You can drive oh, up to film. it. Go real slow. Even more abandoned houses. This is probably a town center. Just entire abandoned streets. This is super unique. This goes back for a while. We'll keep checking. Check that out. Get closer. Nature is completely taken over. Unreal. Yeah, so I, I probably I'm, I'm the I'm not the one recording anymore. I, I just want to show you guys this. Um, So we've been kind of all over the base talking to people and I don't think anybody really, um, I wouldn't say doesn't care, but I think you're fine to take photos all around here. So I want to try to walk up to the front and really show you guys how, how uh, crazy it looked from the road over there. I don't think I got any good shots. But this is the main, main building area right here. It's unbelievably large. You guys are gonna see that in a second. This is an unimaginable scale. Right there you can see a giant nest. Here we go. I don't know if this is the shot I wanted, but man. <laughs> we only have like 10 minutes to uh, film the rest of this and then we gotta go. My buddies, are, we're all running around the building trying to get some shots. Yeah, I'm gonna run back to the car. Looks like a lot of explorers have gotten in here. This is something out of an apocalypse movie. This might be one of the coolest abandoned locations I've ever seen, however. Crazy stuff. Let's walk a little bit down here if we have time. We gotta get going right now. We got a lot more to see all across uh, the world right now. So I don't have time to check this out, unfortunately, but this is definitely one of the craziest places I've seen in my entire life. This is literally an abandoned city.
Well, it was not exactly smooth sailing as we'd previously thought, and the entire police department and military came after us just as we were about to leave. The property manager and building inspector thought we were breaking into all the buildings and called the entire police department on us. However, after a long talk, they realized we were in fact innocent. We were let off with a warning not to come back to this town, but they told us that we were the last people to be let off easy, and the next people that filmed the property will be going to jail. I believe I can legitimately call this an abandoned city as it had everything a city would need, and it was by far one of the largest I've ever explored. You'll notice a trend in my videos where many abandoned buildings, neighborhoods often, are all abandoned under the guise of the military. This is because during wars, the military often constructs buildings very quickly, and then when the war is over, they have no use for them any longer. The buildings were last used during Desert Storm, as I recall. We were here to document this place before it's completely gone in the future. However, I encourage nobody to go here. If you're interested in the flashlight I used, I'll link it down below for over 15% off on your next purchase. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video, as short as it was. There'll be more in the future. I'll be documenting it all.